There are allegations that a multi-million contract was awarded years ago without following due process. And this is usual news in Nigeria, but the accused is in support of a social media bill that wants to gag the media. And also, the border closure has been extended till January, as our neighbors plead with the federal government, but governments say Benin and Niger Republic are not adhering to the agreement. Well, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mariana Cohn. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has revealed that Abba Moro, a Nigerian senator, and also the former interior minister supporting the regulation of social media, awarded a multi-million contract uh, without following due process when he was minister. Several Nigerians have reacted on social media, and I can't help but wonder, is this what the social media bill wants to achieve? People not being able to speak out against them and their misgivings? Well... I don't know. Joining me to have this conversation in the studio, I have Smart Oluwale. He's a political analyst. It's good to have you join us, Mr. Smart. Yes, good evening, and, and thank you course, for having me. And, uh, of we have Shegun Shopita. He's also a political analyst. He's also of the ACT Network. It's good to have you join us, Shegun. It's a pleasure to be here. So I'm going I'm to do um, the honors for Mr. Um, Smart Oluwale to give his... Tell us where you stand on this whole social media bill, and, and are you an ardent user of social media? Do you have any social media account? And what is your perspective as to this bill in its entirety? First, yes, I have social media as accounts, and um, one. Secondly, and I'm an ardent fan of social media news. I followed it, and you see, it has its bad side and its good side. But I won't probably want to narrow the discussion to the bill, to the mm -hmm. trending issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the first place, we have too much of duplication. And that is why sometimes it is even difficult to even know which agency is responsible for which. We have too many laws today in the status that makes it punishable if I carry, if I, if I should fly any news mm -hmm. negative about you. All you just need to do is to perhaps ask your lawyer to write, my, to write me to say, look, you are alleged to have made these allegations against me on social media. Mm -hmm. Can you please, within so so period of time, confirm that these allegations are true against me? And if not, can you please refute this allegation? If not, I will have no cause than to take the nearest legitimate process against you. Very good. We have so many laws against this. Why bringing up? Uh, why bringing up? Why, why bringing it up now? And again, why bringing even death penalty, attaching death penalty to it? That if in case you are found well, guilty, that's, a, that's the that's, that's the um, hate speech bill. Yes. Also, so when you want to, when you, if you are trying to gag the press, you see you won't get anywhere because no matter what, they, you can't be everywhere. You need somebody maybe down there in my village, in my town, to perhaps flash any news that he feels it is wrong and it is for the authority there to say yes it is yes this thing that this thing is true or not but if you're not trying to guard that or if you say this if you say that i mean for goodness sake we have too many laws we have too many laws that 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 we convict anybody that have carried out a libarious allegations against any person so we don't need but all then the... there are people who would say that there have been so many fake stories that fly, especially on WhatsApp. I remember, I think I was in Port Harcourt at the time, when a, a fake story was going on social media, on WhatsApp, saying that soldiers were coming to inoculate children and give them a deadly virus that was going to kill children. And they were going to school. Yes, I read about that. It, it literally caused an uproar. People ran to, to schools, schools to, to start withdrawing their children. So, so again... How do you tell who this emanates see, from? And how do you, like you say, report them and get the, the law to, I mean, forwarded messages, you, see, you cannot let, let me, control Let me them. tell you, if we carry out a due diligence, you will know where that it has, where it has emanated from. Because in the first place, when you, carry, when you do a story, you post it on social media. You probably send it to Mr. Hay, Mr. Wave will send it to Mr. B, and before you know, it flies. A due diligence will show where that story first emanated from. And again, you see, perhaps you just don't, the, the, what you, you must do is that for at every point that 
there is a, there's an allegation. There must be a, there, there must be the true position of it from the responsible uh, authority. Like the case you talked about, I remember immediately the soldiers came out, reflect the, the, the allegation that look what they are going to do is that they are going to carry out immunization, but it is not what you are saying that this is part of their army um, week or whatever that they are carrying out some exercise and as part of those things that go with. The, it is not every time that the soldier that when you see a soldier is talking about war, when you see a soldier is carrying is carrying arms. We've seen so many soldiers are, are partaking in environmental sanitation. We've seen them engaging in all other um, uh, social engagement that are not that are off the conventional uh, duties of the Nigerian army. So when there are things like that, come up immediately. You see, and the moment you come up with your own allegations, uh, with your own with your own counter uh, re 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 reflecting the story, let it go. Let it also go viral. You see, the moment, the, the essence is that we keep this upon the toes. You don't allow a story to perhaps have gone. Maybe later on, you are just you are you are reflecting it just with one page of this thing. Come out and explain. You hold the people explanation. Okay, Shagun, um, I want to continue from where he stopped. Can it also be that the reason why we have so many stories that are somewhat fake or post-truth, mm -hmm. <laughs> let me steal the Trump, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Could it be the reason why this is all over the place is because we do not get information from authorities that, that our government is not speaking to us and so there's room for speculation and these speculations become news of sorts that we tend to run with could this be one of the reasons yeah absolutely i mean there's no doubt that um our government organizations public officials and all of that lack appear to lack um, the ability to drive narratives. And that's absolutely crucial. You cannot be in government and not inform the people. Because if you don't keep people informed, then of course <laughs> they will fill the void. Nature abhors vacuums. So where there is a vacuum of information, information will come, whether it's true or false. Right? So that's definitely one reason. Mm -hmm. But I think the most fundamental reason is as with all other types of bad behavior, and like we have always been saying about our society, one of the most fundamental problems we have is that there is no consequence for bad behavior, right? So um, I, I think very clearly there is a problem with social media. There is a fake news problem. There is a hate speech problem. There is a manipulation problem. There is a problem. There is no doubt about it. I am I'm personally a very um, passionate um, um, fighter against fake news and against hate speech, against ethnic profiling, religious profiling and all of that. I'm very passionate about it. Everywhere, anybody that knows me will know that. I will stand up to you and say no. And what I usually do is to make sure that I refute and f present the truth immediately when I see information that is not true. But, but how, how, much, many how much, those how much can I do? Exactly. I was about to ask that. How much can one but person again, do? If these, as you both have rightly said, if the leadership of the day is engaging us daily and giving us the necessary information, do you think this will stop fake news or the propaganda that it, it comes won't. in the likes of fake it news? It won't. It won't. Because... So what will? Uh -huh. So that's the question. Now, the reason there is fake news, and let's not forget that fake news, that um, phrase was really popularized by Trump, but it's not a new phenomenon. It's been with us you know, since time immemorial, right? Um, and the only way to counter this is to ensure that the people behind it are apprehended and punished. Now, is it by this social, anti-social media bill um, that is being proposed, you know, by these guys? Obviously not. Like he has said, look, we have more than enough laws. The Cyber Crime Act was enacted by the, national, by the 8th National Assembly just a couple of years back. If you look at that, the provisions of that act, um, it's got elements that can be used to fight um, um, dissemination of false information deliberately to cause harm. Um, you know, so so why, why enact a new law that appears to be so draconian um, 
especially by people who appear to have skeletons in their cupboard. Now talking about uh, Abba yeah. Moro, talking I, about the other I, gentleman I, I, I wanna, from Adamawa State. I want to delve into that now. Yeah. And this is with, without prejudice to the person uh, in question. We, we all were here when Abba Moro was the minister. Yeah. For uh, material. Yes. Uh, and, you know, it, it wasn't such a great time for him in office because he had all kinds of... But can we also say that if a person is proposing a bill or sponsoring a bill on the floor, that person has to be of unquestionable character. That person has to have a clean slate of sorts. If not, we're going to have to begin to yes, I look had, at the undertone. Look, do, in the first place... How does that even work? Do we have to do that? Yes, we have, we have to. In the first place, they always say whoever is asking for equity must first of all come with clear hand. Whoever is proposing to sanitize a society, you must have seen, has been seen as somebody that has lived that, that have lived above board. I will give. And I'm sorry to speak over you. Do we have any of su such people we, we right now still, as we speak? That, that, that's uh, we have too many that's the of the national part of assembly. See, no, let me tell you. Yes, we have too many. It's just I, that the right people does not do get there. Them? Yes, we have too many Nigerians. No, no, we no, I'm asking. Right now, at that The guys who are on the floor, whether it's the green chambers or the red chambers, which of them fall in this category? Well, you see, <laughs> it would be difficult. It would really be difficult, <laughs> to perhaps, to, to bring out somebody. Because, you see, when you look at their antecedent getting into power, the kind of money they spend getting into, into, into power, the kind of toggery and all sorts of immorals that they, they put in in trying to get into power. You see, you probably see that you perhaps do not, you cannot get such. But you see, and that is where we, we Nigerians, even though if we can't get that, we Nigerians, we, we must force you to do the right thing. Have, and, how well have you been doing that? Of course, that's what we've been doing on, the, that's what we've been doing on social how media. How well have we been doing We that? have been doing that. It's just for the fact that, you see, if you are weak, you can't be fighting against someone that is too strong. Because the same, the same vein, the same media you are going to use, the same media they are going to use, they will buy their way. Most of them are beginning to float newspaper houses, uh, radio and television houses. They use theirs to suppress, the, this, to, to suppress. Most of them have media aids that they will send, and they will push their media aids from maybe some of the big houses. They will say, look, how much is this? Uh, organization paying you. Okay, come and be my personal, my personal assistant uh, on uh, media matters. Look, for any news that comes up about me, do whatever you do. Talk to your colleague. You must suppress that news. And you see, it is, you, see, you see them winning. But however, you find that Nigerian voices are always very, very loud, especially if we are united against a particular uh, uh, fight. Like the case of Abba Moro. Abba Moro, for goodness sake, in a sensible and in a, in a, in a, in a, in 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 a nation that knows what he's doing, Abamoro has no business being in the Senate. For goodness sake, yeah, he has no business being in the Senate. This is the same person. This is the person that was a minister for interior. Look at what happened when they were going to conduct the uh, interview for is, is, is it custom or immigration, immigration. or whatever immigration. All over the federation, all the stadia. How do you want to con conduct but such? In, is, how do you want to conduct such interview? Again, I go back to my previous question. If we are putting Abamor on a platter, or we're trying to put him on the chopping board, in quote, I'm sure there are other people lining up behind him on the floor of the Senate. So, so again, if we say he has no business there, then many other people have no business there. Well, I'm sure. Look, if you look at it, take the issue of the toggery, the power of money the power of godfatherism that takes place that which most of our, either in the green or yellow shimbal or whatever, or yellow, red shimbal that you call it, that they emerge. Sincerely speaking, we find out that sincere and credible persons hardly get, to a, hardly get to a position of power in this country, especially if it has to do with elective positions. Because they don't have the money, they don't, they don't, they don't believe that it must, be, it must be a do or die affairs to get into power. They feel, yes, I want to serve, why should I come to you and give you money? 
I want to come and serve you. Why should I give you money? But they want to go there because in the first place, they want to get all the constituency allowance, which they will get and they will not execute. Okay. They, want to get, they want to get the 13 point something million as monthly salary, which perhaps they, they will tell you it is not that their salary is 750. And a senator was gracious enough to come out and say, well, what he gets every month is about 13 point something million naira as salary in a country where where everything is so backward, in a country where you cannot be proud of any health system, you cannot be proud of transportation system. I drove from the mainland to this place. I had to leave at about four because I'm coming to the island that should not take me more than 30 minutes. I have to, I have to leave, I have to set my time on time. In the first place, do I have business driving when I could pick a train, when I could come by rail? That's a whole kettle of fish for another conversation. <laughs> Shagun, um, because the, the moment this story broke, of course, Social media was a gog. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's saying, kick it off, kick it away. I mean, just as he said, you're coming to equity without clean hands. Why? Now we know the undertone, but is there, is, does this bill really, I mean, take away the Albemarle situation right now? Do we really need it? Is that what we should be prioritizing right now? Do we not have bigger fish to fry? I think we need it. Um, we need this bill? Absolutely. I think we need it, but not in this incarnation. So <laughs> what, what we need is, because, you know, if you look at the Cyber Crime, Crimes Act... You don't which think we is, need stricter set of sanctions? We just need a bill? We need, we need a law that will um, um, provide consequences for certain behavior, behavioral patterns. And we don't already as far have as, those laws? No, I don't think we do. I don't think we do, because we we've, have... Um, I'm doing a, we're on, on an exercise right now. I have a, a team, a legal team, that is looking into existing laws, mm -hmm. the Cyber Crimes, Crimes Act, mm -hmm. the Penal Code, the Criminal Code, and all of that. And you find that, yes, you've got laws that can deal with libel and slander. They're not criminal, right? So the Cyber Crimes Act tries try to criminalize some of this behavior on social media, but um, it's not extensive enough. It wasn't designed specifically for social media. Now, let me shock you. All jurisdictions, almost all, not all, the United Kingdom, the EU, Germany, France, they have social media regulation bills, laws, every single one of them, in various forms, dealing with various angles of information but do, management. But do they seem so, like a gag order? That's the point. So I'm not saying we need to gag social media. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there's a problem. There's a problem of um, information management and fake news. And it's a potentially explosive problem. So we shouldn't wish that away because we don't like the guys that are pushing this and because their intentions are less than noble. It's obvious their intentions are less than noble, but do we need a bill? I believe so. Now, what we as a society should do is we shouldn't make the same mistake. We keep doing this. There is an issue at hand. Let us focus on that issue, the merits and the demerits. Analyze it dispassionately and uh, propose a better way to these guys, rather than lose the narrative in all the drama. You know, there's a lot of drama about this now that is completely unnecessary. There's going to be a public hearing on this very soon, because it's past the second reading. So at that public hearing, all civil society organizations, even members of the public, you have a right. Just put a paper together and send it in. And you know, so a lot of times we're lazy, even as Nigerians. We don't want to do, put the work in that needs to be done. So let's leave, how many of us has actually read that bill? How many of us has, has even seen it? We're just saying no to social media. Do we know what the, what the content is? So I've taken pains, that's why I know all this, because I've taken pains, I've seen that bill, I've seen, for instance, that it, it actually plagiarized the Singapore law to a very large extent. They almost copied it word for word. You know, so it's silly. But do we need to control, um, not control, regulate, to regulate our conduct, our common conduct on social media, I think we do. Because if we don't, um, there's potential damage and harm that can happen. And sometimes it could involve loss of life. So we need to be careful. Okay. Well, as far as I'm right. concerned, quickly, I, just, I felt perhaps the existing laws perhaps could, could be amended, could be amended to, this in? to, to, to perhaps um, take care of some certain aspects that we think, but bringing in another law, you see, it will come to a stage that you will, probably you won't even know where to categorize it. Is it under libel? Is it under slander? So you probably will not know where. 
as far as I'm concerned, let's, if we probably say, okay, this law is not strong enough, let's, take, let's send this law back and amend it. You understand? So that I just felt well. bringing in multiple <laughs> laws, bringing in multiple laws, we're not, it's not helping us. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Shegu Shopita and Smasa Luwali, political analysts, they're not going anywhere. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, more on the border closure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.